Hey Oliver fans, so welcome to day three of Oliver's amazing road trip adventure. We are in the little town of Wall, South Dakota, population 766, and Oliver is here. Yeah, so this is our first time in South Dakota uh, for both of us and for Oliver too, of course. He's never been outside of Illinois except for a little visit to the northwest corner of Indiana. Um, so yeah, what do you think, Oliver? What do you think of Wall? Um, so we just checked out of our hotel, the Best Western, here in Wall, and now we're just taking a look around the town and seeing what, what there is here to see and before we start our day and head off to Mount Rushmore. Um, but I'm sure the question you're all asking is, how did Oliver do yesterday? So um, it was the longest leg of our trip. It's, it was an eight-hour leg in the car, and he did really, really well. Um, I have to say, he didn't get sick. Uh, he actually slept for a lot of the afternoon. He liked actually the morning when we were uh, in Minnesota. There were some nice uh, rest stops and he really liked the new smells, I think, and the big cornfields we saw. Um, but the real highlight of the day, of course, was the end of the day. We got to Badlands National Park right before sunset and Oliver really seemed excited, I think. He was putting his head out the window a lot. Of course, he had never, I mean, you have to imagine what's Oliver thinking? I don't even know because Illinois is pretty flat and he had never seen anything like these rock formations, these really tall rock formations that you have in Badlands National Park. So anyways, what do you think? Do you like it? Yeah, we're gonna see something even taller. We're gonna see like the Rocky Mountains. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, so um, check out the rest of the video to see what's gonna happen today. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll compile it all and show you everything that happened. All right, thanks everyone, bye. Hey, hey Oliver fans, one more thing I forgot to mention. Today we are heading, uh, by the end of the day, to Casper, Wyoming. So it's about a three and a half hour trip, I think, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, so not nearly as long in the car as yesterday, so that gives us a lot more time to see a few of the big sites in the Black Hills region of South Dakota. All right, sound good, Oliver? Okay, thanks everyone. See you in a, enjoy the video. Oliver, look, it's a frog. It's a huge frog. Do you see it? It's jumping. You've never seen such a big frog. I've never seen such a big frog in the wild either. Oh, it's gone. I've seen tiny little frogs, but not that big. Wow, who knew? South Dakota, Wall, South Dakota has frogs. Okay, do your business now. Got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I have to try Try to let her go Because she won't And so this clearly is Mount Rushmore Here we are What do you think, Oliver? So, alas, unfortunately, this is about as close as you can get with a dog. So, I don't know what you think, Oliver, personally. I think it's a little bit smaller than I expected, but it is what it is. Piece of Americana. So, Oliver, let's go find a nice shady grove for you to walk around in. How's that sound? We got some lunch. Okay? All right, bye for now. Hey, all our fans. So I just wanted to say a little bit more about this awesome pet seat that we have for Oliver. Uh, it's really been helping on his long rides because he's up high and he can look up and around while he's traveling. Um, so it's more interesting for him, I guess. And he feel, probably feels more stable. Maybe it, it's part of the reason why he hasn't gotten car sick at all. As you can see, um, we put his bed in, in top of it and um, it's quite high um, and it's made by PetsFit. Um, that's the manufacturer. Um, you can open up the top and you can stick stuff underneath as you see we have for extra storage space. Uh, and we've added, we added this, uh, this is a harness that hooks into the seat belt. So we harness him in while we're riding, uh, driving so that it's safer for him. Um, and yeah, Oliver, what do you think? Do you like your bed? Oh, you want to go in? You want to go in? Okay. So there he is. So that's how he rides just like that. You can look out the front and from the side. And he has, yes, a perfect view just by sitting like this. So you ready to go, Oliver? Where are we going next? We're going to Wyoming. How's that sound? And then eventually California. 
Sounds good? All right. Okay. Custer State Park in South Dakota, and we're about to introduce Oliver to an animal he has never seen before, which is Buffalo. <laughs> buffalo. It's not just a city in New York. It's a kind of animal. Look at all of them, Oliver. Okay, I don't know. I'll just look at the buffalo. Are there rules about this? I think we'll stay our distance, Oliver. <laughs> Oliver, do they smell funny? Do they smell different to you? He knows they're different. He doesn't bark like that at cows. He's seen plenty of cows. They have horns, Oliver. Look how big the horns are. They have big shaggy necks, big shaggy thick necks. That's incredible. the buffalo oliver they're right there we gotta keep going over <coughs> bye buffalo they do not seem perturbed at all they do not care about the barking also they are blocking our road <coughs> There's some buffalo. You don't need to bark so much, okay? They're harmless. 